to show you how to install Knet Free Launcher for Minecraft 1.7.10. So, obviously, the first thing you need to do is get the uh, this file, uh, the Knet Launcher file, from this site, and this is the official Knet forums. Uh, I will link this topic in the in the description of this video so that you ha don't have to search for it. And basically, you need to scroll down this site. Uh, and just find the download link. <laughs> it's really easy to find actually uh, with all the indications here. Uh, just click this. This is an AdFly link uh, and of course you will be directed to AdFly. Uh, there you have to wait five seconds uh, and then hit the big yellow skip button and you will be redirected to another site where there's the download link for uh, the Knet launcher there and that's it. You will get this file from that link uh, and when it comes to it uh, you have to open it and it's a zip file so you can either double click, double click it uh, or just uh, right click it and hit and hit open with and choose whatever archivizer you have uh, whatever program you have to uh, open zip files so let's double click it and here you can see that this is uh that there there are uh two files and two uh folders here uh don't read me file and change log uh you can read this file if you want to i will not read read it out to you right now uh and if you are a mac user or a linux user you will of course want to get inside this folder and get this file out on your desktop. But as I am a Windows user, and most people actually are, uh, just enter the Windows folder and get this file out on your desktop or wher whatever you want it to be. All right, so we can close this now. And now we have the KN launcher, which stands for uh, Knet, of course, uh, version 1404, uh, so the newest one. And now before we right click it, uh, no not right click it, double click it, uh, we'll enter roaming to make sure that we don't have any .minecraft folder here. And as you can see it's clear of .minecraft folders. There is nothing like this here. So we can just close it right now and double click and hit run. And now this will show up. You can now choose your desired username. I will write in shale because I really like this username and hit login. Uh, and now as you can see uh, the launcher looks almost like uh, the official launcher only there's a lot of Knet stuff here uh, and here it states ready to download and play Minecraft 1.7.10 uh, We can of course change it we don't have to play uh, 1.7.10, but that's the newest release, so it's worth checking out. Uh, but of course, if you want to change it uh, to, for example, 1.7.2 to play some uh, cool games with mods, because there's a lot of mods for 1.7.2, you may just hit edit profile here or create a completely new one, because this is the def default profile, it uses the newest release. and before we enter, I want to enter the roaming and show you that the .minecraft folder has formed, but there is nothing inside yet. Not even versions, because we haven't played the game yet. So now let's hit play. And this might take a couple of seconds to a couple of minutes, depends on uh, your computer actually. Uh, as you can see, it's going quite slowly in my case. Uh, and sometimes you might get stuck. I mean, the progress bar will be all green, uh, but the uh, the game won't turn on. Uh, you just have to close the window and hit play again. That's not a bug or anything. It just happens sometimes. All right, so now as you can see, we're inside Minecraft. The only thing we have to do now is enter single player and create a new world or play in multiplayer if you want to. Uh, and here it states Minecraft 1.7.10.
but of course you don't have to play Minecraft 1.7.10 and now I will show you how to create other uh, profiles with other versions. So let's quit the game right now and in roaming you will see now that uh, the dot minecraft folder is full of other folders and in the versions we have 1.7.10 so the one we've chosen to play just a second ago let's open the launcher again all right so as i've already said you might edit the profile or create a new profile let's uh, f first click edit and here you have the profile name of course uh, this is the default profile and here you have the use version the most interesting button here uh, not button scroll down list <laughs> uh, here you can choose whatever version you want to uh, up to 1.0 so the first release and if you make any changes you just have to hit save profile and and leave <laughs> Uh, all right, but let's create a new profile. Uh, let's call it because we want to play with mods. And let's choose release 1.7.2. And now you just have to save profile. And the only thing you have to do now is choose this profile. And here it states ready to download and play Minecraft 1.7.2. So let's hit play again. This will go much quicker because you already have most of the files downloaded with the 1.7.10 uh, actually. Uh, and of course now you enter Minecraft 1.7.2 and again you can hit single player, create a new world or do anything you want to do right now. I will not create a new world because my videos tend to lag when I do. So let's just quit the game and check roaming for the last time. And as you can see in the versions folder, we already have the 1.7.2 right now. So all's working fine. And that's it. Thank you for watching this uh, tutorial. I hope everything is clear now. But if you still have any questions, just ask me in the comment section below or write a private message to me and I will try to help you in any way I can. Uh, yeah, th that's it. <laughs> that's it. That's, that's Minecraft for free completely with the cracked uh, knet launcher so again thank you for watching this tutorial and see you in the next one bye